What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Mind Something. If you're new here, my name is Jake and in today's video we're going to talk a little bit about Radiant. So I finally got into the Discord and was just trying to keep up with everything that's going on with this project and wanted to share some of the things that I found with you guys. So first thing I want to talk about is overclocks. Uh, thanks to a bunch of people in the chat on the YouTube channel I was able to make some adjustments to my Radiant and my Caspa overclocks. They seem to be pretty much identical being a core intensive algorithm. And let's just go through some of these. So previously I was running lock core clock somewhere between 1200 and 1400 just depending on what kind of efficiency I wanted to have. Uh, but as you can see, if you set your core clock uh, instead of using locked core and then just simply use power limits uh, you can actually get quite a bit more hash rate at a lower efficiency or excuse me a higher efficiency uh, 3070 Ti is coming in anywhere from 890 mega hash all the way up to 920 at about 105 watts keep in mind I do have the memory locked at 810 uh, if you guys haven't seen the previous videos on how to lock your memory, let me just show you this command real quick. That's going to be NVIDIA-SMI space dash LMC space 810. And that's going to lock your memory and lower your wattage while keeping your hash rate the same or possibly a little bit higher. And if you want to remove uh, the locked memory setting, you just use this command here. And I'll leave both of those in the description below. Uh, but yeah, these are all 3070 Ti's. Uh, if we take a look at Naboo, which is 3070's and 3080's, all Founder Editions, you can see uh, efficiency looking really good here. And then lastly, Tatooine uh, is got several different NVIDIA cards. You got 3060 Ti's, 3070's, 3080 Ti, and a 3070 Ti. And yeah, efficiency looking much better than my previous overclocks. Once again, uh, thanks to you guys out there. So uh, if you take a look at my rewards currently, we're ranging somewhere between 12,000 a day and 16,000 a day. I just went back to mining Radiant because it is currently profitable for me at the moment. Let me show you guys my profitability here. So we'll just pull up an online calculator real quick. Uh, let's say if we're getting 15,000 Radiant a day times the current price of Radiant, which is coming in at 0 0.00055. 0.00055 uh, that puts us at eight dollars and 25 cents in USD per day and if you look at my electric usage at the moment uh, as a whole we're coming in at 2400 watts uh, and I am I've got solar but let's just calculate this at 10 cents per kilowatt hour so 2400 watts times 24 hours in a day divided by a thousand watts which will give you one kilowatt hour is 57.6 kilowatt hours per day times 10 cents per kilowatt hour is five dollars and 76 cents so as you can see yes radiant is still profitable uh, why you guys aren't mining this is a mystery to me. We've talked about it several times on the channel. And surprisingly, hash rate is continuing to drop while everything else on what to mine is currently negative. And this is even putting it in at seven cents per kilowatt hour, which is probably about what I'm paying uh, with my solar system. So yeah, I mean, you, if you're not mining this, I don't know why, but I, I recommend mining it. Obviously, I'm still profitable, and if I so chose to exchange it for something or some other project that I believe in more or swapping it for BTC or USDC, whatever your plans are, I mean, it, it's, it's profitable. Uh, I don't know what else to say. So anyway, going back to the Discord, 
Something that I noticed that uh, is very intriguing is the fact that they're, of course, trying to get listed on other exchanges. And right now, the only exchange that you can find it on is textbit.io. Uh, but according to this, a community member has included Radiant in a vote to be listed on Xbitron. We now have 30 days to win and we are already in second place. If everyone puts in a few dollars, it's possible to get to the top easily. Well, it's, it's not so easy to just put in a few dollars. Uh, minimum for a vote is basically a hundred bucks. So right now it's currently in second place against Hivecoin. We've got 22 days and six hours left. Uh, I think that Radiant can, can get above Hivecoin but I don't know I think people are lazy and I don't think many people are gonna go through the trouble of creating uh, an Xbitron account and then transferring 5,000 of their native token to get a single vote right now there's 23,555 votes for Hivecoin and 16,420 votes for Radiant. And essentially you're spending 5,000 EXTO, which is the equivalent of $100 in USD, in order to get uh, a vote here. And you've got to go through the trouble of setting up an account with Xbitron, uh, and then you've got to swap whatever you're sending over there, let's say USD. DT or USDC or Bitcoin or whatever for EXTO. I don't know. It says it says you could use these as well. I, I'm not exactly certain. I haven't set it up yet. But I, I made a recommendation to the community on Discord, and that is we need to have one single wallet um, that that is a fund. And if you guys would like to contribute to that, hopefully I will have some more details on this going forward but what I would like to see and I, I don't think they're at this point yet but one of the things I recommended was you know they're currently in the process of trying to design a new logo uh, I think the logo they have right now they're they're running into some copyright issues perhaps but if if we can get a new logo designed and out there to the community I'd like to see you know possibly some NFTs created around this new logo uh, and then and you could purchase said NFT uh, by sending some of your radiant and they take the deposits from the radiant or the NFT sales and then put that all towards this vote at Xbitron to get listed on there. I think that could do a lot for liquidity. Perhaps not, you know, may maybe there's more selling pressure with more exchanges to sell it on. And that leads me to the other thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about, and that is how to liquidate your Radiant if you so choose to. Um, so uh, in order to do this, you of course need to have your Radiant wallet and you want to send it to the only exchange that you can, which is textbit.io. And if you don't have an account, it's very easy to sign up. Once you are logged in, you essentially want to go to your wallets and then just type in radiant to find your radiant wallet and as you can see I just transferred some here as a test just moments ago to make sure that this was working uh, one thing that I did run into you, you may need to adjust your uh, fee uh, I just set it at the minimum which was I think like a hundred which is the equivalent of, I don't know, less less than 1% of a penny, something like that. I don't know, it's, it's minuscule to send that much. But anyway, uh, yeah, if you need to liquidate, you can send it to textbit.io. Uh, you do have to have 60 confirmations, and so far it's only four confirmations after let's see here that says 14 11 current time uh, it's been about 25 minutes since I sent this and we're still waiting on another 56 confirmations. so just expect it to take a little while before you have the ability to send it over there anyway that's all I got for you guys today hope you appreciate the video if you would hit the like hit the subscribe I'll keep you guys updated let me know what your thoughts are on 
the voting and if you would contribute some of your radiant or something towards getting this listed on another exchange uh, or if you would prefer that you know the development side is the one that's trying to push it towards getting it listed on exchanges I'd really like to see uh, like I said maybe some NFTs or some type of incentive for you guys to send your radiant so that we can get listed on another exchange anyway that's all I got for you guys hope you enjoyed the video I'm out